So in the last few months, we've had many viewers asking for an updated tour of our home network. Over the last two years, we've done dozens of videos on our home network and our home network panel. So at the end of the video, make sure to click on the playlist Ultimate Home Networking to see where it all began. This is the full tour of my home network, which includes all devices in my network panel, as well as some devices outside that panel. And as a little bonus, I'm gonna give you the model number and the price for each device, as well as a link in the description below to where you can buy these devices. So before we start the tour, every network cable you see in the panel and outside the panel is a CAT6, except for the fiber cable coming into the modem. And over the last couple of years, we have definitely had our share of constructive criticism about our cable management <laughs> yeah. and even the placement of our network devices within the panel. And much of your advice was very helpful. And we truly appreciate it. But right now, this is what it looks like as of April 1st, 2021. So we're going to start our tour at the bottom of the panel with the fiber optic modem. This is the Calix Gigapoint 803G. This ONT converts the simplex fiber cable into standard ethernet. The 803G has three inputs, a fiber input, a power input, and an ethernet jack. From this simplex fiber cable, we get 940 megabits per second. So our first connection is a CAT6 wire from the 803G to our wireless router, which is a Linksys router. And this CAT6 coming from the fiber modem connects to the WAN port on the Linksys wireless router. From the LAN ports on the router, we have one network cable that connects to our Ruckus ICX PoE switch, and another cable that connects to our Western Digital Cloud and we have two extra LAN ports on the router available for expansion. Now let's head back down to the bottom of the panel. This is our Western Digital 2 terabyte cloud. Now I know what you're thinking, two terabytes, really? Well, our next priority upgrade will be this cloud. We need at least five terabytes because this cloud is already full. <laughs> uh. Now to the left side of the panel. This is the Ring Elite PoE injector. We have a CAT6 connected to the Ring Elite doorbell. And from the doorbell, it connects to the PoE injector at the top. And from the bottom of the injector, the CAT6 connects to the TP-Link 8-port switch. And there's a power connection for the PoE injector as well. If you look at the very bottom of the panel, there are only four outlets for this panel. And that's ridiculous. And because many of these power connections are brick-style connections, it's almost impossible to utilize all four of these outlets. So if you look to the right, I had to add a power strip to the side of the panel. And this power strip gives me six more outlets. And you would think this is enough outlets for this panel, but no, I had to add another power strip right here. So above the fiber optic modem is our TP-Link 8 port switch. We have four CAT6 cables plugged into the TP-Link 8 port switch. Two CAT6 go to our office, and two CAT6 go to a bedroom. As I said before, this CAT6 goes to the PoE injector. This CAT6 goes to our living room. This CAT6 goes to our kitchen. And this CAT6 goes to our ICX switch. Now above the TP-Link switch is our surge protector with the extra outlets. And next we have the Ruckus ICX switch. This switch is a PoE switch. Power over ethernet. And one of our viewers suggested that we could plug our ring lead doorbell into the switch instead of the injector. And that would absolutely work. And the only real reason we haven't done this is that the PoE injector is still installed in our panel, so we might as well use it. However, my plan is to remove this injector pretty soon. It will free up much needed space. Okay, we have several connections going into this Ruckus ICX switch. We have a CAT6 coming from our wireless access point, which is in the hallway. This wireless access point is a Ruckus R610. 
This wireless access point provides an additional wireless signal for our house. And the other Cat6 cables connect to the Reolink NBR system and the three devices that are above this Ruckus ICX switch. Let's start at the top left with the Lutron Smart Bridge Pro. This device connects all of our Lutron switches so we can access them remotely. Next is the SmartThings Hub. And this hub allows for connections of devices as well, like light switches or home automation. And this is the Kivo Plus. This connects to our Kivo lock on our door, which allows us to access the door to lock it or unlock it. And we can even send virtual keys. So each of these last three devices connect to the ICX switch through a Cat6 cable. And the last device in the panel is the HDMI converter. This is an HDMI over Ethernet. This allows us to view our NVR system from the living room via Ethernet cable. We could have ran a 60 foot HDMI cable, but that's kind of expensive. And since we already had a Cat6 cable from the living room, then this made a lot of sense. Now our big screen TV is a video monitor for our cameras. Pretty cool. And speaking of cameras, let me show you the six Reolink cameras we have installed. These are all PoE cameras using Cat6. All three of our thermostats in our house are connected to the network. We have an Alexa Show and several Alexa Dots. And this cool Sono speaker. And even the shades for the sliding glass door are connected to the network. So guys and gals, this is our Home Network Tour 2021. It's pretty much everything in our home network. And here is the link to the ultimate home networking playlist. We currently have 46 videos in this playlist. So plenty to choose from. And don't forget, if you want to buy one of these devices, there's a link in the description below. And once again, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we do a personal shout out on the very next video. And remember guys, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.